What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace and welcome to Springfield. This area in Universal Studios Florida is one of my favorites. So let's go get an in-depth tour and a deep dive into Springfield. We're walking in from the right side. If you're coming into Universal, you'll probably walk into the Simpsons land this way if you go to the right. The first thing we'll see is the Bumblebee Man's Tacos. How cool is this? This is why I love this land because look how just like fun and cute it is, honestly. And listen, and there's a big taco on the front of the truck. So here they have the polo taco, which is chicken, the carnitas taco, the carne asada taco, probably really good. And they have Duff beer, of course, but this is just the cutest thing. Right across the way are some restrooms, but it says the Androids Dungeons Baseball Card Shop. So as you can see, it's not actually a store, but it just looks like it. We're closed. Take me to your comic books and baseball cards. It is just so cute. Like, look at these little details. The baseball cards, the comic books. It's nice to take some time and really look deep into this area. We'll stick to just the left side to start, but right next to the taco truck is Lard Lad Donuts. And right next to the big guy is the Lard Lad Donut stand. Here's the menu. They have the big pink donuts. And here's a look at some of the donuts. In between Lard Lad Donuts and Duff Brewery is Jabida Springfield, <laughs> this statue. And behind it, there's also some seating, which is really good to know about. If you're going to Duff or the Donut Place or even Krusty Burger, you can come and eat down here and look at the shade that it gets. Also, you're eating on the water. How nice is that? It's a pretty big, spacious area too. So it's just good to know. It's right behind this statue. All right, here are the Lard Lad Donuts. These two are glazed. I tried these out. I posted a review on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, be sure to. It's at the Crystal Palace underscore. But these glazed donuts were really good. I really enjoyed them. Better than Voodoo Donuts, actually. And this one is jelly. This one is cookies and cream. They are delicious. Really good. Really Crystal Palace approved. Four pack of donuts was $11.99. Not bad at all. The cookies and cream one is very good too. Kind of just tastes like a vanilla. Not that many Oreo crumbs, but I really like these donuts a lot. Outside of it, we have a Springfield police car. We have a police officer eating his donut in front of the donut stand. And this little fire hydrant next to it, that's squirting out some water. How cute is that? All right, right next to it, we have Duff Brewery. And look at these guys. These are my favorite edgy remorseful <laughs> and dizzy that is so great look at dizzy i love it here's duff can't get enough of that wonderful duff i'm sure all right so let's look in here so cute right they also there's the duff that they have on tap they have squishies which is icy goo we're gonna try one of those. So here's stuff. It's very cute. They also have pretzels. And here are some more guys. Tipsy. <laughs> Slurry. Surly. Queasy. And sleazy. Oh no, sleazy. He just looks like he's a cheater, doesn't he? Oh no, not good. Not good, sleazy. Oh my gosh, look at these duff kegs. Duff Dry, that's great. And these big Duff Brewery things. That's awesome. We also get a Duff shot glass. And it looks like a beer mug. Super cool. So yeah, they have a little Duff store. Look at this, Moe's Tavern. And we got Mr. Duff right outside. Would you look at him? He's a cool dude. All right, I'm getting the pina colada squishy, but with alcohol, Bacardi rum. And we're also gonna get a Duff beer. Here's my pina colada squishy. And here's the Duff beer. The squishy is good, but I will say that it melts way too quick. Like it's not even icy anymore, which is like kind of a little gross, but 
It is really good though and refreshing. Duff beer is pretty similar to Heineken. To the right of Duff Brewery is Kang and Kudos. I'm probably gonna pronounce everything wrong in this video. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> Twirl and Pearl. This is the ride. It goes up and it spins around like a Dumbo type of ride, but you're in flying saucers. Right next to it, it's stroller parking. And look at the stroller parking sign. It's so cute. To the right of that, we have hot dogs. Over dozen served. Here's the menu. Footlong hot dog. Oh, Nathan's. Right next to it, start some of the games. Shout out to my boy Joey Chestnut. I'm coming for your record. If you know, you know. Nathan's hot dog eating contest. The best thing ever. Coney Island, New York. It looks like it's boiled hot dog too. Not grilled at all. That's how I like my hot dogs. This is really, really good. Wow. By the way, the hot dog was $11.70 before any discounts. The hot dog is pretty expensive, but it's kind of like two hot dogs. Here is a little ducky game. Here are some of the prizes. I like that donut one. Right next to it, we got ball toss. Look how fun though. It's like so fun, I like it. And this is these are like the really hard games. You throw it and you gotta get it in a color. I like that, very fun. More stroller parking. You got the big Simpsons banners, which are nice. Here is the sledge homer. It's one of those sledgehammer things. And I like the prizes. Chips, Bartman. <laughs> I like the bag of chips, it's cool. The big duff beer. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. So after the sledge homer, it ends. Simpsons land ends. That's Men in Black. And then we go to the other side. Here's a basketball game. I like this big ice cream cone. If you're good at basketball, dunk or flunk. Oh, that's cute. A plus or an F. Whack a rat. It's like whack-a-mole, but you can whack a rack. A whack a rack. Wait, rack? <laughs> Hi. Whack a rat. That is a tongue twister. And right next to it is Mr. Burns Radioactive Rings. It's ring toss. And next to the ring toss is I Carumba. Oh, I Carumba. That's cute. And it's another basketball game. But it's a smaller, smaller version. You can win some Duff canned beer basketballs. Right next to Icaramba is the Simpsons ride. Just the cute stuff like this, like the, the height signs, is why I love this area so much. But here's the Simpsons ride. If you get motion sickness, I don't recommend going on this ride. But, you know, to each their own. It's only a 10 minute wait right now. And the Simpsons ride, they have this big thing outside, which is fun. You know, this is where the ride is. Next to it is Help Santa's Little Helper. Oh, it's a horse race, but with water guns. This one is Sideshow You. Oh, that's Sideshow Bob. I met him. I liked him a lot. And this is darts with balloons, hot balloons. See some of the prizes, they're cute. Each booth has like pretty different prizes, which is fun. This one's called Wild Willy. Look at him, I like him. And this is where you throw the baseballs and you knock these guys down. Next to it is Thar She Throws. <laughs> oh, and you throw them in the buckets, strike three. You can't do it, don't even try. Be made a fool of by a stack of cans. So you shoot the cans and you can win a prize. So that was the games. You may just walk by them, but they're really cute and really fun if you're looking for something else different to do in Universal. This is where I met Homer. That's where I met Sideshow Bob. So we do have meet and greets here. And this whole building is the ride. All right, so right outside the Quickie Mart, this phone, answer the phone, dingus. It's for you. No skateboarding. 
Phone's ringing. Shall I answer? Let's see who's there. Hello? 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 Must have been a prank call. Right next to it is the Quick E Mart, and that's where the phone guy is. We got some guy on the bench, he's drinking. And this is the Quick E Mart right in here. Nice and cool in here. They have all of your Simpsons merch, as well as some cool things to see. They have the big Lard Lad Donut. Look at how big this one is. It's also great air conditioning in here. <laughs> There's a hidden pocket for your cold beverage, MP3 player, or cell phone. Oh wow, that is really cool. It's Velcro. That's great. This is $62. And it has a bottle opener attached to the sweatshirt. Put the bottle opener in there, put your bottle in there, and it's insulated. That is epic. Also another nice shirt, quality control, duck beer, little work shirt, $45. Play Lotto. This just might be your lucky day. Odds of this being your lucky day are one in a billion. <laughs> that is such a mood. And right next door, we have Krusty Burger slash Moe's Bar. So this is just the facade. Celtis Chicken Shack. <laughs> and you can see it says, gone fishing, go next door. But it's just so cute. Oh my, <gasps> listen. To, it sounds like there's chickens in there because it's like a chicken coop. That's great. Oh no, that's so sad actually. <laughs> this is a chicken shack. <laughs> and then what's this? I guess chicken feed. Didn't fully cross the road. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> and then of course they have some seating right outside. It's hot though, but they have umbrellas. Moe's, this entrance is for drink orders only, so if you're just getting a drink, you can go in this way, and this is where they have some of the seating. Right next door is the Krusty Burger, and that's where you can order your food. But if you look on the walls, it's pretty cool, right? Moe's Tavern is this way, this is Moe's. El Barto was here in spray paint and graffiti. And we're back here at the baseball card shop, where the restrooms are as well restrooms as well as the entrance to Krusty Burger. Wow, look at this big, right when you walk into the right, it's all the Simpsons characters. The character key. Wow, that's so cool. There's the Duff guy. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then they show you an outline of the numbers. So like 297 is the Duff beer guy. Then we go to 297, Duff man is his name. They have a lot of seating in here. Look at this. Over this way as well. They have some booths. They have great wall art. If you love Simpsons, this is so your place. Krusty Burger, over dozen sold. All right, let's head up by the food. This is awesome. To the right is the food service where you can order your own food. Oh, there's more place in here. This is the Moe's. You could get a drink at the bar here, sit in here. That's the Moe's part. Here's food service. Order your food. And this is the mobile order section. So you can see it's like, seems like they're different booths. It's really cool. I like this a lot. This is chickens. <laughs> Under the flaming Mo sign is for the mobile orders. So that's the line that we're on now. But you can see some of the specialty drinks here. So you can order and then pick up your food there and then right behind you, you pay. If you don't mobile order, which I recommend mobile ordering for sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. It's Flaming Mo. And you get to keep the cup. It's plastic, so it's cool. All right, it smells very orangey. Let's try it. I'm afraid it's gonna go up my nose. It's like orange soda, but it's cool. It smokes. Ooh. I like this. All right, from Krusty Burger, we got the double batter chicken combo with the large swirl shake, chocolate and vanilla shake, 
We also got the basket of shrimp, which is fried shrimp. And we also got the Buzz Cola, which is the famous Simpsons soda to try out. All right, here's the Buzz soda, Buzz Cola. Buzz Cola, it's called. It's okay, it's supposed to be like a cherry soda. Probably like Coke, cherry Coke. It's not bad. All right, here is the shake. That's all vanilla, but it's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Let me get some chocolate though. So the chicken is corn flaked battered chicken. It's really good. Rating up in the up in the high eights for sure. The mashed potatoes are also excellent. Like really good. I'd give them probably an eight six. The coconut shrimp. Everybody really likes it. I even tried it. I'm not a shrimp fan, but it's very coconutty. It's one o'clock and the line for Moe's is out the door. So if you want this, mobile order or get here early. Here's a tip. See these three tables? You're gonna keep walking. I know there's tables right out front of Moe's and Krusty Burger, but let's face it, theme parks are crowded. Look at all of these tables over here. We're right in front of Animal Actors. This is Animal Actors right here. And these are all tables with fans and they're all covered in shade how nice is this so if you could find a table over here highly recommend all right i think that does it for us in springfield i love the simpsons area if you can take some time maybe in the morning or at night when it's not that crowded just to look around and explore and try some of the snacks they have great snack options in there i highly recommend it even if you aren't a fan of the simpsons if you are a fan of the simpsons you definitely need to take the time to explore springfield because it is great Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.